why do mid-drive bikes cost so much more than hub motor bikes? Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. I want to talk about a subject that I get asked all the time is why do mid-drive bikes cost so much more than hub motor bikes? If you're new to this channel, I am Johnny Nerd out. I convert bikes. So people can't really see, but behind you in front of me is a line of bikes that people bring me and then I convert them into e-bikes. It's a lot cheaper for them, including labor. It ends up costing about 12 to 15, 1600 bucks usually. And you get a far superior e-bike. It's a mid-drive with a giant battery. So you're getting a lot more power and a lot more range for a lot less money and you're getting higher end stuff. But the topic of hand is why do mid-drives cost so much? And I want to just I wanna break it down for you. It's numbers, it's simple numbers. It's math and it's money. Follow the money. We got, let's say 20 manufacturers making e-bikes. We got 200 brands out there selling those bikes from the 20 manufacturers. I'll let you think for a second what that means. It's a lot of rebranding, a lot of middlemen, a lot of half-truths going on there and a lot of just bald-faced lies going on out there because this is the wild, wild west when it comes to e-bike. And a lot of people are just trying to make a real quick buck. I know, I've worked for them. I no longer do, thankfully. And now I'm doing this. And this is the future, I believe. So anyways, here's my opinion on why mid-drive bikes cost so much more than hub motor bikes. 2020, we saw the great e-bike boom. It's kind of like the uh, the baby boom back in the 40s, but this was the e-bike boom of 2020. A lot of these older people were getting into bikes, people who haven't been riding in a very long time. I would say, let's say of the retirement, the golden age, our, our, our finest, the finest generation, the finest generation was getting into e-biking and who have not been on bikes in a while. And let's just say mid drives are not for beginners. Mid-drive systems are advanced systems. You have to really be confident on a bike. How to, You wanna be in the right gear all the time, pretty much. Otherwise, you will be doing damage to your bike, your chain, your drivetrain. You hear a lot of people complaining about their bikes got damaged because probably they were riding it improperly. They weren't, they're not confident on a bike. So you got all these people, the vast majority, I would say 90% of these people buying e-bikes are not super confident on a bike. They haven't been riding in 30, 40 years. They're just getting into it now. They saw their neighbor on one having a blast and so they want one. Hub motors are way better. They're gonna make way more money. They're gonna have way less customer service issues, people complaining that they're breaking their chains. It's, it's a smart decision on a, if I was selling a bunch of bikes to just people who didn't really know what they were doing, if I was renting out a fleet, I'd probably rent out a bunch of hub motors and I'd probably dial them down so they can't like do any damage. If there was advanced seekers, if I was doing like off-road, tour guides, hunting tour guides, or just going out. I would be doing mid-drives all day, every day. They're an advanced system. So you got all these all these manufacturers that don't want the headache of dealing with people breaking their bikes. So they just pump out a whole bunch of hub motors. And that's how it's been for the last probably 10 years. But recently, you're getting people that are outgrowing it fairly quick. And they're finding that a 750 watt mid-drive behaves way different than a 750 watt hub motor. And they like it. They're like, whoa, I could climb any hill I want with the same amount of power, the same battery system. I could just swap out the motor and now all of a sudden I've got a bike that climbs hills way better and has a higher top speed. It's You're hot rodding your bike essentially. So now demand is starting to shift towards mid drives. So you're starting to see the price start to come down a little bit on mid drive. Before, I'd say three, four years ago, the cheapest pre-made mid drive bike that you could get was probably $4,000. Now I think like Saunders, even I think electric, there's a few, there's a few manufacturers that are coming out with mid drive bikes that are barely over 2000 bucks. That's pretty cool. And just give it a couple more years when demand starts going up higher and people start outgrowing, like the first generation of the e-bike boomers start outgrowing their hub motors and they want better performance, that leverage is gonna shift. And pretty soon it's just gonna be like, well, which one do you want? Do you want this or this? And I, I really do want to say that mid drives are an advanced system. So if you're getting into e-biking for the first time, you should probably be looking at a hub motor. And just to just to ride it and get the basics so that you're able to shift gears properly, climb hills properly, and then once you nail that, you're not clanging your gears all the time, then I would really consider upgrading to a mid-drive motor when you're done with that. Because it is a night and day, you know, and I got videos at length on the topic between the two different motors. And that's why mid drives are still so expensive, even though they're coming down, it's just the demand. Once people start buying those mid drives up, manufacturers aren't dummies. They're, they're just going to make what people are going to buy. And it's these brands, it's these 
you know, ubiquitous brands that are just selling whatever they can get at a cheap price and selling it for, you know, if you're buying a hub motor bike for 2,300 bucks that the brand bought for 800 bucks, I, that's, a, I have a big issue with that. I know a lot of people are like, that's how everything works. But for me, like there's a, there's a way better alternative and it's convert your bike that you have. That's the best way to go. If you want to get into a mid drive or get into the bike that you want, that fits you great and has all the specs that you want for the cheapest price, convert your bike, do it yourself. There's plenty of videos out there on how to do it. I have one out there on how to do it. You go to my website, buy all the parts or go somewhere else. I'm not trying to be here and be a salesman. I'm just want to usher in this new movement. I do think that e-bikes are going to save the planet and whatever you do to get onto one, get onto one. All right. Thanks guys. Hopefully that helps.